ready and boom. Who'd that be? Look like the railroad out tonight. Ow! Trigger happy, tricky, 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 tricky,
Go get your lawyers, buddy. All right, let me, let me pause Brack real quick. Okay. So Linda uh, wanted to find her videos on her iPhone. So I was going to show her how to do this. Okay, so go to right here. This is gallery. Pull up your gallery, and those are your videos right there. No, those are old videos. Where you're talking about one? new videos? No. You're gonna, you're gonna... Okay. So she just took it out of the oven. Let's go ahead and turn this off for a second. Mm. We're looking at it right now. All right, this, this is the, for cleanup. And let's look. Ooh. That's looking good, sweetie. Oh. And you're sideways, okay? I want it sideways. Uh, okay, if you want it sideways, look, you want to go like this. Turn like that. Wait, like three seconds. See how that moves over? Now you got panoramic. That's better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? It Ooh, just shows it's more that cinematic. That good. I'll go to cans, okay? Red peppers, but That is what the peppers, final result is. Yay. We're not going to eat it all. We're going to have two each. Okay. That's two pounds two of meat, each. which is 32 ounces. I'll probably eat three. Ounces. That looks really good right there. Yeah. Mm. That is Linda's Thank stuffed you. peppers. Very, very good. Okay. So I decided to take a bite of the pepper. And that's two of them for you? Yep. I'm going to do a red and an orange. Okay. So that's for you? That's for me. Okay. You got the good one. Well, the pretty good one. Okay, so that's Linda's. Where's your fork? Right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, and here's my plate. Here, I want to wipe this up. I don't know. That's been on the counter. Okay, maybe get <clears> another <throat> plate. No. Okay. Which, one, which colors right. do you want? Um, I want... I want that one. There you go. And I want... Uh, Yellow? Uh, do a green one. Green one. Want to do green? Yeah, green one. Green and orange. I get a yellow color. one later. No, that's red. It's Christmas color. Oh, red and green, and yellow. Yay. Hmm, that's Halloween kind of, and this is Christmas. Christmas, Yay. Halloween. Linda's stuffed peppers, and we're gonna try a bite. Careful, it's hot. No, don't put that on the counter. Thank you, Jesus, for our food. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Yummy. It's hard to do it while you're filming it. Mm. Get a little bit of the rice, meat, cheese, and the pepper. Hmm. 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 Okay. So here goes mine. Mm. I've got a little bit of, of this right here. Mushroom. Hmm. Yummy. Mushroom is that one of my favorites. Very good. This is a very good uh, thing. You put mushrooms in it. You got the, the hamburger meat, the rice. We use jasmine rice. You got the bell peppers, the green peppers. All of this is really good. This is very, very delicious. Yes. So we were very, very thankful. Mm -hmm. And enjoy if you make this at home. Very, very good. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot the sticker on the, and it made a shape. The sticker was cooked. There's a sticker. Looks like a fish. It looks like a fish with two eyes. It's called a, uh, an ichthys, or an ichthys. It's an ichthys. It, it was actually cooked. It was cooked in this, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It does look like a fish, sweetie. It's an ichthys. And it was cut that way. If I was at a restaurant, this is called a physical contaminant. You just... I can see you. I was looking at YouTube dates. 
And I wanted to kind of uh, pick apart this Everlast uh, song. And I wanted to identify this person as Everlast because of how the dates are posted. And we're going to look at it right over here. Okay, so here we go. It's got 7.2 million views by Paste Magazine. The published date was August 28th, 2018. Whoever posted it, posted it August 27th, 2018. So there's a good chance this, this is actually legit. It was done on the 27th. They published it the next day after editing on August 28th or after midnight. You see that it's Everlast smoking and drinking. So I'm noticing that this probably is true because most people don't know the difference between that. That post stuff. Okay, sorry, I'm looking at something that will... Also, you can see it in the published dates, they put a little dot right here and a dot right here in the published date. So that's, that magazine published it on that day. This can be manipulated, but that's Everlast right there. That's really them. Yeah, yeah, he's 51. You know who it is? It's Everlast. No, no, who I was thinking it was, he's kind of affiliated with that Santana. That's who yep. saw Santana. Probably, yeah. yep. Yeah. So that's what he looks like now, and that's really him because I can tell this is a, this is an original this is original post because of this. Most people don't do that. And Everlast smoking and drinking is that song, and they put the date in it. And there's little dashes there. It was done in New York City. That's actually a legit post. Pretty interesting. Okay, so I was listening to Kennyland Riots. I know Jordan the Line is a famous vlogger and everything. I think they're really good. Um, I compare them uh, to the Smiths. Oh, this song that I'm hearing right now. This is actually just solo, Morrissey solo. But I'm a big Smiths fan. The problem that's going on here is Jordan is showing off the band. And the music is only in the background. Music is just background. Think of a movie. Music is always the background players. It's all about the vocals. Okay? Neil Young would agree. Morrissey's going to agree. The Smiths are going to agree. Red Hot, Ch Red Hot Chili Peppers are going to agree. It's all vocals. Okay? You should be able to just have the singer just sing it and the band just back there with like, I don't know, McDonald's straws. And it would still be the song. You see what I'm saying? If you show off the band that's deadly, you know, even the chromatics that show off a really good band, they're gonna you're gonna hear every part of the vocals. The vocals are getting shallowed out. That's really good creative stuff that the band's doing. It's not about the band. See the vocals are shallowed out. The audience doesn't like that. They want the vocals to be in the front. The vocals are just blended in with the music. You need to bring down the drums, bring down the guitar, and all the other instruments, bring them down, and bring up the vocals, and the singer needs to freak out at times, and then get control. Even Morrissey did it. He would, you know, he'd flip out. You gotta, you gotta have you got to have the vocalist be the star. He's the icon. It's not about the band. It's always about the vocals. Now, is it about the band? Yeah, it's about the band. But if you don't have that strong vocal, like think of Guns N' Roses. They'd be nothing without Axel because of that headline vocal. Thing with, thing with Sun Kill Moon. I mean, it's got a crazy guy like Jack Kerouac guy talking all this weird stuff. It's still powerful. Johnny Cash, too. You could always hear Johnny Cash. You can't be in the background like the music. Don't blend in the band. It's artsy decision, but it'll, you'll end up with this. Right? If you want to make that 223K, if you want to make that 223K or 223,000, Take your vocals to an extreme. Think of Modest Mouse. 
the vocals are even guided by voices. The vocals are always in the forefront. Every band. Don't blend it. It's, it sounds like more of a, of, a, of a background singer. Get right up there to the mic. Get right up in the mic, right? So it's, you're basically going to be understood completely first. The band is second. It's in the background, okay? Then it'll blend because they're going to hear what you, they're going to want to hear everything that you're saying. And it won't blend out. But I think it's a good band. So I think they're a little mushmashy. They mush up some of the instruments and stuff. Separate the guitar. Separate the drums. Let the drummer do the drumming thing. Let the guitar be the guitar. If you want to bring in a bass, let the bass be the bass. Let it all blend in until they all are on the same page. Put them in the background and get right there by the mic. I mean, your lips right on the mic. And bring up the vocals all the way. And you got yourself a really good band.